What's up y'all? Haven't made a video in a while. I was doodling in my art book today and I drew this up and I just wanted to share it. Ton of information in this, uh, what I like to call a monogram. Monograms are one symbol that's got a big message in it. And uh, if you've seen any of my videos, a lot of this stuff will fall in line with it. But I started off with a square and a circle. So I want to talk about circling this, or squaring the circle and opening up the seal of Solomon here, which is the sun and the moon. We live our whole lives by this. You can take this box and open it up, open that cube up, Archangel Metatron's cube, and you'll get six sides when you fold it open. Okay? Um, the cube itself has 360 degrees, four 90 degree angles, and uh, once you open that box up, you get six times 360, which is 2160, which happens to be the diameter or the heavenly measurement of the moon. And uh, one radius of that is 108. One radius of that is 108, which happens to be if you take it to the lesser power or take one zero off, it happens to be the atomic weight of silver. So it's no wonder they call it the light of the silvery moon. Um, now the circle itself, we break that up into 360 to equal portions. And that's not an arbitrary number. It has to do with our natural pious circadian rhythm and the study of the circle of life. Um, we have 12 hours a day, 12 hours a night, and throughout the year we have 360 days in which the sun actually moves. People will say, well, there's 365 days. Well, those extra five days, the three days of solstice in the summer and the winter, the sun does not move a degree or a day. So technically there's only 360 days and five days where the sun stands still and doesn't move any degrees. So there's where we get our 360 of a perfect cycle from. Okay? Now 12 times 360 is 4,320. 4, which if you put another zero on there and pump up the power a little bit, uh, you get the radii of the sun, 400, uh, 4, 432,000 miles, which is the radius of the sun or uh, radi radius means a spoke or staff on the wheel um, wheel of time in this case and charged with brightness dies. Um, so just understanding the circle and the degrees in the circle or how to you know break down a circle into 12 you'll get this information now you can take the 24 hours of the day times 360 and you'll get 864,000 which is the full heavenly measurement diameter of the sun. So, there you go. The sun and the moon are right here, all wrapped up in this rose cross, this Rosicrucian cross, or the Star of David, all this information here. Now, all the geometric solids will layer into this. Um, all of our polygons are based off of this circle. Now, Tesla said to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration that's music that's sound that's uh, harmony that's why we call it the universe it's one spoken word and that word is music uh, so music correlates with this this is this is basically the quadrivium all wrapped up into one big monogram here on one page you've got math music um, astronomy um, and geometry that I'm gonna kinda explain here so let's take this 12 and just straighten it out into a line and then you get our, our foot which is based on the average size of the human thumb and it correlates with all this information so 12 you can find a root digit this is not numerology people this is a modern science term called finding the root digit every long uh, string of numbers you can um, add them up and deduce it down to its root digit which will be between one and nine okay and it has to do with our hands like I've discussed before all these sacred numbers and there's two hands on the clock and there's a long hand on the clock that long hand is going to be proportionate to 432 
okay? And that small hand on the clock, which is correlates with the sun, that small hand on the clock is going to be mathematically proportionate to 216, which is the radius. So the large hand is the sun, the small hand is the moon, which gives us our cycles. Um, here's another cool thing here. This seal of Solomon here, that one triangle is 70, 720 degrees, the other triangle is 720 degrees together, they're 1440. If you take one radius, uh, the, the 432 number of the sun, which you could tune your A string to in your guitar, and you divide it by 1440, you get 33.33333333333 on into infinity. So a very infinite number, infinite light savior. What I mean by that is you can take 432 and square it, and you get a 0.01% accuracy within the speed of light. All this information is right here, guys. It's pretty cool. A very accurate approximation of the speed of light. So we have here 369, um, finding root digits. Here's our, our foot. Um, here's our day. Or our, I'm sorry, not our foot, but our day. Our our uh, and then our day and night combined, and then the 1440, um, which are the degrees of the Seal of Solomon. And there's other ways you could find that, but that's 3, 6, and 9. That's our information here. And then we have 12 inches in a foot. That's 3. We have 1 square foot is 144. A uh, cubic foot is 728, which is going to... Uh, correlate with something. I can't remember what, though. Uh, but it all reduces down to 9. Our yard is 36 inches, and a square yard is 1296, which is actually, I believe it's a half of the uh, great year cycle. Um, and then, of course, the cubic yard is 9 itself. So down here we have, we can take all of our uh, angles and our shapes that we got, our polygons. We'll start with a circle, split that circle in half. Um, you got a triangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, uh, what is the seven? It's the heptagon. This one's kind of tricky because when you first break it up, it breaks down to 125 point something, something, something degrees. But when you toll it out into three, uh, all the way around the circle, it comes out to 900 degrees, which comes to six, six, three, zero, zero. Or, uh, so all these numbers still deducing down to the root digit of nine. And of course, a 10 here, you get these are all your polygons, and you can keep going with these polygon shapes, and they're all going to re re deduce down to this nine digit. Um, now we can go into the platonic solids. Uh, you have your tetrahedron, it's uh, four times 180 degrees, that's 720, that deduces down to nine. Your cube, six times 360, that's your moon. Your, your moon. And you know, Islamic cultures or their desert cultures. They worship the moon, so it's no wonder that they go to Mecca and walk around a giant cube. <laughs> or the solar cultures kind of stuck to this thing. Um, your dodecahedron, 12 times uh, 540. Here's the cool thing. All these numbers right in here, and a lot of these numbers here, and especially like 432 itself, this isn't just a Christian or Judeo-Christian information, okay? The sun rolling across the circle is also where you get your yin-yang yin sign from. But uh, Brahma, the breaths of Brahma, or Brahma himself, the, it's, uh, the, the Hindu philosophy. Um, they say um, he had four, horn, or four heads, three, or four horns, three heads, and two mouths, or something like that. But, and, um, and it was seven folds, so... Brahma himself is related to this, and then you'll you'll find uh, 432 statues of Buddha at temples and stuff that correlate with this, and you'll find a, this number 108 all around. All, actually, all of these numbers you're seeing here will be found in the sacred monuments, the sacred sites, the sacred temples on the whole globe. No matter, regardless of what religion you are, you're going to find all this stuff. So the thing that ties all religions together is this knowledge. This this coding of information right here, and, and, and these are the Kali Yuga, the Hindu calendars, the Kali Yuga. Um, you'll find this in, in everything. In college, I've one thing I started recognizing, studying, and taking the my philosophical courses and world religion courses is that the numbers always wind up being the same. Um, 
So, uh, so it's a universal language here and symbols. Um, if, if we can all just understand this, then we can kind of get on the same page. Um, so we could tune our guitars and our instruments to this too, like Pythagoras uh, used to when he was first studying this in the, the ancient time. The pyramids were tuned into this frequency. The pyramid itself is built at a 40, 432 to 1 ratio so that it, it it's a model of the northern hemisphere and it gives us our whole entire um, world grid system it's it's tied into the grid system and that's what this is as well this is the christ consciousness grid that the whole world is ran by as of this time anybody using the year of our lord okay um this is the eye of horus proportions which is inside of this box um the eye of horus is proportioned out and the, everybody has an eye of horus it's it's, it's, it's within us. It's when we balance both hemispheres of our brains using geometry, music, the liberal arts. And like I said, this is a fine example of the quadrivium. But what I'm using is the trivium to convey this information, which is grammar. I'm using my words, and I'm trying to do some etymological definitions for you so you get what I'm talking about. And I'm using logic, which is the, the logistics, the numbers, okay? how all this stuff adds up. And then I'm using rhetoric, of course, which is teaching you guys about this stuff, or the art of convincing you that I'm onto something here, or that we all use. All this hidden information, all that people are seeking, is right here in front of us. We use it every day. We live our whole lives by it. So the Eye of Horus, when you look at the Eye of Horus, it's proportioned out into these half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, thirty-second. But you can split up the box, Metatron's cube this way, and get these proportions on the spiral down and on the spiral out you'll have the Fibonacci ratio one and one is two two and one is three three and two is five I'm sorry five five and uh, three is eight eight and five is thirteen and so on and so on and it, it, if I would have drawn this differently I could have put this box here or I could have drawn it on the inside and I could have actually drawn in the Fibonacci spiral that goes to this and what is spire what is a spiral? The root word is spire. And it's the same place we get the Holy Spirit from. So the golden ratio. And what is ratio? But the relative to Ra. Okay, the relative to Ra, radius. Tio is cousin for relative, Ra, sun god. Okay, and basically what I'm doing right here is I am freeing the mathematics, or Mat, the spirit of Mat. I'm freeing the mathematics of the sun ray, or the sun Ra, and the moon. Isis, Horus, and Set. So I'm showing you the hidden secrets of Freemasonry right here, if you understand. Now, our tuning today is a standard 440, which doesn't mean, take us away from all this information. It just means we're tuned into the mile. The mile is a thousand human paces at 5,280 feet. You take 12, the actual uh, <clears throat> octave, and you divide that into that and you get 440. Now, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, these seven notes that we pull out of here to get our solfege, is not called the milefege. It's called the solfege. Uh, solfegio is the root word of the sun, so we should be tuning our seven sacred notes into this 432, light. And why is seven notes solfege? Because there's seven months of light five months of darkness in a pious year just as on the piano or piano there are seven notes and five notes of darkness um, another thing when we draw this line in we can get our first approximate through this circle we get our first approximation of pi 3.1415 another absolutely infinite number even our computers haven't um, completely coded or solved it yet and it seems as though in this long long infinite digit of numbers every you'll, you'll find everybody's birth dates death dates uh, any kind of number that you can imagine will at some point pop up inside of this so it's like it contains all the information that there ever was and this whole flower of life thing is the seed of germination the seed of life inside the mother's womb uh, when when phase conjunction happens and life starts we start by breaking out these circles and then eventually we get to so many bubbles that we break this proverbial yoke and we start becoming human. But it takes the man and the female energy 
That's what this Star of David represents as well. You can spin this one direction, spin it another, and you have electromagnetic forces and gravity. But if you just look at the, the, the complexities of this positive and negative and put it into masculine and feminine perspective, it's a very beautiful thing. And let me show you why. The total degrees in this is 1440. So man is 720. Woman is 720. To a lesser degree, let's bring us down to earth from heaven. And we're going to say 72 is the average human lifespan. Okay? And 72 beats per minute is the heart at a resting pace. So you take one person and their heart is resting in a meditative, relaxed state at 72 beats per per minute times 60 that's 432 so we can literally calm ourselves and tune ourselves in the sun but we're not complete at 432 you put a woman by your side and her heart's beating at 72 and you both are in a state of peace and and rest guess what happens you have 144 beats per minute times 60 minutes and you are now in harmony with the sun at 864 beats per minute oops which is the radius of the sun is 864,000. It's double this. It's double this number. So when two people come together in phase conjunction and their, their hearts are pumping together and we get in sync, we can actually get in sync with all this information. The, the great year is the backwards movement through the clock. We live our lives this way. okay? But as the dreidel spins or as the earth spins and we have those five days of wobble it moves backwards okay and it whole this whole circle backwards is 25,920 years divided by 360 is 72 that's the average human lifespan one day on the great cycle of life some of us are lucky and we might get more we find this lost knowledge and we can get back into harmony and frequency with the universe through our music and we're responsible with it we can change this planet and we can you know we can maybe live another day on the great cycle but this is our zodiac this line here you can think of it as the tropic of cancer the tropic of capricorn and this is horus horizon or the horizon the equator to the east you got north south east I'm sorry east and west and the sun rises in the east and when that sun rises you can draw that first line across there and that's the horizon and that's the first time we get to decipher this number and find this infinite infinite detail in life so there is this 369 pattern of information that ties into space and time the platonic solids, geometric polygons, the rhythm of our lives, the circadian rhythm, the spiral of the lives, the proportions, the harmony, music. It's all right here. It's all right here in this beautiful sign. This is the Rose Cross. This is the knowledge that has been around for Lord knows how long. That This is part of our imperial uh, measuring system that we use here in America that's kept alive by the Freemasons who founded this place and this information is beautiful now people might think it's arbitrary but you can take the metric system or any other numerical measuring system and relate it all back to this because it comes back to these simple numbers of nature you can't get away from it um, so did the sky gods bring us this information or is it intimately in our bodies one and one is two. Two and three is five. And so on. The, the, these proportions are in our arms and our body. The rhythm of life is all right here. We just have to get in tune. The ancients knew how to tune. They were really in touch with the planet and they knew that all of life is music. Everything is the, the word of God. Everything is spoken. Everything is music. Everything is harmony, proportion. These numbers here is uh, on Jesus' You'll see Jesus' face here on this circle. With Next to him you'll see IC, XC. Um, this is a Freemasonic ciphering where you get 53 and 33. It's a certain way to break down the English alphabet. 
and 5333 correlates with circumference and diameter. So he's teaching us to be pious. That's why you see Jesus often counting on his fingers. I believe this is the secret teaching of the ages. This is Metatron's cube or Enochian language. This is Enoch was Metatron. This is uh, the teaching of the, the Marys, the Rosicrucians. This is the teaching of the Hindu masters. This is the teaching of the Buddha. This is the teaching of all ages. And there's the cycles of generation, organization, and destruction throughout these ages that we live by. This is the zodiac. This is the wheel of time. This is the manger in the sky. This is the, the, the everything we need to know to reestablish humanity. And this is all encoded into the greatest monuments on the planet, like the Great Pyramid. And all the ancients were trying to leave this for us. And you know what? We use this whole system today to get to Mars. We just launched rockets back up into space today after we shut down the shuttle system and I guarantee you they're using this knowledge in, in, in accordance with calculus and everything else to to get us where we are today so none of this is arbitrary it's our intimate connection to the universe it's uh, it's beautiful and it is Isis Humanitor Salvador it's Isis Horus set uh, or Salvatore, I can't remember what it says, Isis Horus said, this is the knowledge of human humanity. doesn't matter what culture you're from. You'll find this star in the Islamic mosques. You'll find these stars in the temples. You'll find this geometry in the Christian churches. You'll find these numbers in the Kali Yuga. You'll find this information everywhere on the globe left to us. Some of us have the eyes and the ears to see it and hear it, and I hope everybody else does someday too. Be blessed, people. Have a great day, and be pious, be pious, and philosophize, and be full of love and light, and light is knowledge, and knowledge is light. Be blessed. Take care.